Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. In this video, we're going to talk about percent change. And percent change is, for example, how much something goes up or down. Now, these concepts I'm talking about have a lot to do with money, investment, anything that you can measure where there's sort of a before and after picture. For example, let's say that you uh, saw a price on something was $4.25, and maybe the next week you went back to the store and it was $4.37. You want to know what percent increase that is. Obviously increase because it got bigger. All right, what percent increase? So it did go up a certain amount. So the first thing you're going to have to do is subtract and find the difference, okay? Subtract. Uh, maybe on something else you saw $5.28 and then it became $5.38, all right? So again, that's a percent increase and even though the starting amounts were different, if you're talking about percent change, it's a way to compare things that start at different levels. Okay? So obviously you're going to subtract, and then you're always going to go and divide by the original amount, which is this first number. Okay? Now, the last example here is what if something is, say, at 38 feet, maybe uh, the uh, level of a river, and it goes down 32 feet. Okay, in this case, it would be a percent decrease, right? So, in the percent decrease, you have to remember that we still subtract and find the difference amount, and then we're going to divide it by the original amount. Now, in this case, the original amount is 38. It's not always the lowest amount, okay? So, you're going to take the subtracted difference and divide it by the original amount. So in the first case, it's 12 cents divided by 425, the original amount. And you're going to get, on your calculator, 0 0.0282. Now I'm just going to carry it out about three or four places. And then we need to move our decimal point over, right? And that will give us 2.8%. And that's an increase, 2.8%. All right, in the second example, when you divide 10 cents by $5.28, you're going to get this answer, 0 0.0189. And then when we move our decimal point over, because that's supposed to be a percent, it's going to be 1.9% rounded. That's 1.9% increase. In this last example, the difference was 6 feet. It went down by 6, but we divide it by the 38. It's the original number. Okay, and when we divide that, we get 0 0.15789, and we want to round to three places, but move our decimal point over, so that'd be 15.8%, and that is a decrease. All right, so it's a very simple formula. We have the difference amount divided by the original amount. All right, I want you to grab a piece of paper, grab a calculator, and try these. So, number one, you go from 60 meters down to 1 meter. Obviously, that's a percent decrease, but use the formula and figure it out. Notice how it says round to the nearest tenth of a percent, so that would be three decimal places. Number two, 63 goes up to 65. What percent increase is that? Number three, 67 goes down to 62. That's a percent decrease. And number four, from 70 all the way down to 26, another percent decrease decrease. Okay, figure it out. All right, let's take a look. Number one, how did we get that? Well, the difference is going to be 59, right? So you got 59 meters and you're going to divide it by the original, which is 60. Okay, after you divide, you're going to get 0.983 and then round it to 98.3%. All right. Okay, number two, you're going to go from 63 to 65, so you subtract to get 2 grams. That's an increase of 2 grams. 
out of the original 63. It's always the first amount. When you divide that out, you get a decimal, move your decimal over, 3.2% increase. Number three, from 67 to 62, here you're going down by five, and then you're gonna divide it by 67. That will be a 7.5% decrease. And number four, it is gonna be from 70 to 26. If you subtract that, it's gonna be 44 divided by 70. Okay, and you get 62.9% decrease. All right, once again, thank you for watching this video, and this was problem set one. Now try to find problem set two. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.